Hello gardeners, this is kind of a post-storm update. Uh, last weekend here we got hit with over 10 inches of rain in 24 hours. Kind of hammered the garden um, and then leaving the gate open and letting the deer in didn't didn't exactly help either. So uh, if you're interested in year-round gardening, some of the tips, tricks, what to do, when to do, um, this might be the place for you to visit. So if that's the case, slap the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Um, Mom was away this weekend visiting the grandchildren, so I'm uh, playing out in the yard by myself. What we're going to plant today is carrots. Carrots seem to have a lot of mystery. There's just, they're a little bit difficult to, to grow. There's a few tips and tricks that make it easy there's probably no better better plant to, to grow you you can plant them in the fall this time of year and then we'll plant them again in the spring it's good to know your your first and your last frost dates the the zone that you're in isn't quite so important for vegetables but but it, it does play a factor we're in zone nine our first frost day is usually about the the middle of November, so it's coming up. Carrots can't take a hard freeze, but they'll, they'll take a pretty good freeze and they actually get sweeter when it does freeze. So uh, let's go plant some carrots and get dirty. Okay, we're gonna plant the carrots. Um, what I'm gonna do is get the soil real wet. Pretty hard to see, but you can see carrot seeds are really small. Hope that came out all right. So what I'm gonna do is I mix them with radish seeds. And that way, is, it kind of helps with the thinning as you get to eat the radishes since they mature first. That'll, uh, that'll help you thin them. And then I use scissors. Um, you can pull them. I, I use scissors because it doesn't end up pulling the ones right next to it. Um, don't, don't tell Terry, I would never, ever, ever use her sewing scissors. So we're just gonna water it in really good. This part's pretty important. They gotta stay, uh, they gotta stay wet. And this time of year, they're not gonna dry out too easily, but this really helps them germinate quicker. We kind of have a lucky break going because it's actually a better part of 70 degrees today. So uh, all we do, Sprinkle those seeds out. I do it pretty thin, and I don't do it an exact row, and I know you can't really see them in there. And then what we do is after we get them on the ground, I just leave them right on the top of the ground, and we're gonna put these boards right on top. And what that's gonna do just keep the light off of them and they're gonna germinate quicker. And if it rains, it's gonna keep the rain from washing them away. You don't have to worry about it being exactly on the ground. You can see this one's a little bit up. That's no big deal. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna check them in about 10 days. Now a couple things to keep in mind is you're gonna want really loose soil and carrots generally need the soil to be above 40 and below 80 to germinate so they're not going to germinate in the dead of winter nor are they going to germinate in the heat of the summer and you don't have to use a board you can use a like sometimes we use cardboard not that I would ever buy anything on uh, online and come with a bunch of extra cardboard boxes but cardboard works good burlap works good um, but the important thing is as soon as it germinates, we want to get the board off so it gets sun. If there's rain in the forecast, sometimes I'll put a brick at each end under the boards. That way it gets some light. And go like this and uh, we're planted. We'll see you next week and see if we got some sprouts. Um, definitely within two weeks we'll have baby carrots. Thanks for watching the carrot video. Um, up next, we're going to be doing potatoes. We're going to do them two or three different ways. Um, the way we normally do it is in our raised beds. 
it's not everybody has the room we have so we're also going to do it in containers both large and small hope you join us for that one and we also have uh plenty of more onions to plant we'll show you those when we come in we get them from several different suppliers you might check out Haas tools they have uh, some pretty good gardening tools and, and good seeds that we've had good luck with um, you know there's also the Swiss chard some of the things that grow throughout the year the carrots the peas the broccoli the cauliflower we try to plant something every week we're not homesteaders we uh, both work full-time jobs, do this when we can. We try to just be a little more connected to our food chain. At the present, we grow probably 75 to 80% of our vegetables. Um, we still have to get some from the store. We, uh, we've got to buy meat. It's usually uh, buying, a, buying some beef from, from a grower. So at least we know where it came from. Our, our property is really not suitable for milk cows or beef if we live. This is probably the only flat spot on our property. If you found any value in these videos, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. All the above would be good. I'm just trying to share our little, little life with you.